My Marine Corps color is red! My Marine Corps color is red! It shows the world the blood we shed! It shows the world the blood we shed! And my Marine Corps color is blue! My Marine Corps color is blue! It shows the world that we are true! It shows the world that we are true! And my Marine Corps color is green! My Marine Corps color
This morning, Company B, 1st Refill Training Battalion, will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the rearing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The commander of troops is Captain E. Cisneros, Company Commander, Company B, 1st Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is Captain B.D. Emerson, Operations Officer, 1st Recruit Training Battalion. in today's parade are the 500 graduating Marines from Company B. Recruit training comprises subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguish them as Marines. Examples of these traits are discipline, the achievement of a state of discipline which assures respect for authority, instant willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence and common goals. For the Marines of Company B, today marks the end of the 12-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton and on this parade deck, and have been trained, as are all Marines, as basic riflemen. In addition, through an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The next portion of the parade will be the presentation of the colors, followed by our national anthem. Gentlemen wearing hats, please remove them in observance of our national anthem. Will the guests please rise?
Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Following the command parade rest, the parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music. Thank you. 
The parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops. sent to march, all unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commander. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, we ask that those men and women in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in showing our appreciation for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Lieutenant Colonel Scott Blankenship, Commanding Officer, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, will now address the audience. Good morning. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, welcome Vice Admiral Mobley, Major General Taylor, Thanks for joining us today, gentlemen. Welcome to our commanding officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, Colonel Callahan. Today's parade reviewing officer, Lieutenant Colonel Beerbaum. Sir, thank you for your service throughout the years, what you've done for our Corps and our country. To the members of the Marine Corps Tankers Association and the members of the uh, Drill Instructors Association, thanks for joining us today also. And a special welcome to the family and friends of the Marines of Bravo Company. Thanks for joining us on this very special day. Since their arrival here some 13 weeks ago, the Marines of Bravo Company have executed our nation's toughest and most demanding military recruit training program. The curriculum is designed to give them the core values, the military skills, and the character traits, which have been the hallmark of our Corps for over 228 years. As a result of the successful completion of their training, it's my privilege, and I'm very pleased to introduce to you today 500 young men who I can assure you have earned the title United States Marine. For those of you who are Marines, and for our visitors who've been here for the past couple of days, you certainly observed that our Corps' history is rich in customs, courtesies, and traditions. If you'll excuse me for a moment, I'd like to practice one of those courtesies by exchanging good morning greeting with our new Marine. Good morning, Marines. That is an example of the pride and motivation that's filled these young men today. And they have every right to be proud. They've worked extremely hard throughout their training, and we're very pleased with their performance. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the parents in the audience who've given them the proper values and supported them with letters of encouragement throughout their training. I'm also very pleased with performance of the officers and drill instructors of Bravo Company, who have been very ably led by Captain Cisneros and First Sergeant Slattery. Certainly drill instructor duty, certainly drill instructor duty is extremely demanding, and I hope that you'll share in, in my appreciation for their efforts, and I encourage you at the conclusion of the ceremony to seek out your son's drill instructors and thank them for a job well done. I'd like to thank one other group who played an important role behind the scenes over the past three months, and that's the wives of my officers and drill instructors. Ladies, we're fully aware of the sacrifices which you make on a daily basis to support your husbands as they carry out their demanding duties. And we certainly uh, thank you for your continuous support as they conduct the extremely important mission of training our next generation of Marines. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to offer my parting guidance to our new Marines. Congratulations on earning the title Marine and becoming part of the most respected and feared fighting force in the world. 
I must remind you, however, our nation's at war. And you must continue to put forth your best efforts as you undergo further training which will prepare you for service in our operating forces. And I charge you, each time you look at the Marine Corps emblem, remember your core values of honor, courage, and commitment. What they stand for and what they mean to you. Because whether you serve for four years or for 30 years, you will always be a Marine. Once a Marine, always a Marine is not just a slogan, but rather it's a way of life. My final instruction to you as you prepare to return home on leave, take a couple days off. Well-deserved rest. I think you've earned that. But then put your uniform back on. Go visit your recruiter. Show him how successful you are. Thank him for helping you make this decision to become a Marine. Invite him to go with you as you visit friends and teachers. Let them know we're still looking for a few good men and women who can prove they have what it takes to be one of the few in the proud. After all, why should you be the only one from back home having all this fun? <laughs> On behalf of the commanders, the drill instructors, and the support personnel aboard the depot, congratulations, and we look forward to serving with you again in the future. Good luck, Godspeed, and forever remain Semper Fidelis. Now taking his position in the reviewing area, is today's parade reviewing officer, Lieutenant Colonel Gene E. Burbaum. He is accompanied by Colonel Mark Callahan, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Regiment, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. Lieutenant Colonel Burbaum was commissioned a second lieutenant in June 1958. After graduation from basic officer's school, he was so assigned to Company C, 2nd Tank Battalion, 2nd Marine Division, where he acted as a platoon commander for 19 months. He then served on the battalion staff and was both the company executive officer and company commander during this tour. In 1963, he was assigned as the combat cargo officer on the USS Rankin until 1965. Duty as the assistant inspector instructor followed with companies B and D, 4th Tank Battalion at Syracuse, New York. Completing this assignment, he was selected for attendance at the Armor Officers Career Course at Fort Knox, Kentucky. And following his graduation, he was assigned as the G4 Plans Officer for 5th Marine Division for a one-year period. This was followed by a one-year tour as the S-4 officer of the 5th Tank Battalion. Service in Vietnam followed with his first assignment as the Battalion S-4 officer for the 1st Tank Battalion for a six-month period. He was then transferred to 1st Marine Division as the division's embarkation officer and material manager. This tour was followed by a return to the 1st Tank Battalion in February 1970 as its S-4 officer. He then became the executive officer and the commanding officer of 1st Tank Battalion for 17 months. Upon completion of this assignment, he became the officer in charge of the 2nd Field Analysis Office, which covered all Marine Corps activities west of the Mississippi River. He performed this demanding assignment for a three-year period and was stationed subsequently at MCSC Barstow as the head of shop branch for a one year where he directed the major rebuild of tracked vehicles. In August 1975, he assumed the duties as Chief Amphibian Test Branch, where he conducted developmental testing of LVTs and remained in that billet until April 1978. Lieutenant Colonel Burbaum's personal decorations include the Bronze Star with Combat V, Combat Action Ribbon, and the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry with one silver star.
Marines have been trained here in the past 83 years and have departed San Diego for combat and conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Inchon, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Grenada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Afghanistan, and Iraq. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Western Recruiting Region, San Diego, would like to welcome the Marine Corps Tanker Association, the Crow Crawford Drill Instructor Reunion, RSS Downey, and the Veterans Home of California. Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, Captain Eli Cisneros and the Battalion Staff. Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, California, conducted by Staff Sergeant M. A. July, enlisted band leader, and Staff Sergeant S. G. Smidlin, drum major. Series 1093, Series Commander, Captain Trent M. Marks. Platoon 1093, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Arnold J. Toe. Platoon 1094, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Robert J. Gomez. Senior Drill Instructor, Gunnery Sergeant Bernard Dogan. Series 1096, Series Commander, Captain Patrick S. Henry. 
Platoon 1096, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Roberto Barba. Platoon 1097, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Michael J. Brown. Platoon 1098, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Restituto D. Paz. Platoon 1099, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant David M. Blaze. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the Marines' hymn. Thank you. Please be seated. The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers that train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in the recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the core. That is what we do here. For the young men graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 12 weeks is but a small step in the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill our ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company B prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp today, their initial training is not over. After a well-deserved 10 days of leave, these young men will report to the School of Infantry at Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill a fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman.
and gentlemen, at this time we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Eli Cisneros. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Sean P. Slattery. The Marines and corpsmen standing in front of the platoons have spent 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for the past three months training your new Marine. Drill instructor duty is extremely demanding and requires enormous personal sacrifice to accomplish the mission of making Marines. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in a warm round of applause for the officers, drill instructors, and company corpsmen of Company B. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and enthusiasm and were selected as the platoon honorman. recognized as being the most outstanding Marines in their platoons. The platoon honormen compete for the title of series and company honormen, who are considered the top men graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. Upon retirement of the guidons, each honorman in recognition of being a top Marine graduating today will receive a plaque from the Marine Corps Association's Leatherneck Magazine, a magazine for and about Marines. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors.
presented their plaques by the commanding officer of 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Scott Blankenship, assisted by the Battalion Sergeant Major, 1st Sergeant John M. Gonzalez. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold all your applause until all of the honormen have been introduced. The honorman from Platoon 1093 is PFC Juan C. Rosas from Wilcox, Arizona. The honorman from Platoon 1094 and also the series honorman is PFC Brandon P. Fiasayu from Albuquerque, New Mexico. He was recruited by Staff Sergeant Donovan D. Cruz. The honorman from Platoon 1095 is PFC Kevin A. Morris from Katy, Texas. The honorman from Platoon 1096 is PFC Brian Lowe from Temple City, California. The honorman from Platoon 1097 and also the company honorman is Brandon N. Holton from Stanhope, Iowa. He was recruited by Sergeant Jack D. McClellan. The honorman from Platoon 1098 is PFC Zachary J. Ziegel from Metamora, Illinois. The honorman from Platoon 1099 is PFC Paul Ruiz from Elgin, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, the honorman of Company B. The senior drill instructors will now dismiss their platoons. This will be the last order the new Marines receive from their drill instructors and probably the most welcomed order they have received while in boot camp. <laughs>